Hi everyone and welcome back to the Watch Patek. Today we've got two big boys for you. First up, the Patek Philippe Nautilus 5712 in the blue dial. The Nautilus is perhaps one of the most iconic watches in the watch space today, not just from Patek's catalog, but in the entire watch market itself. Against the Patek today, we've got the AP Royal Oak 15407ST Skeleton. Um, let's start with the AP because it's my favorite out of the two. Uh, this watch has a fair few um, nicknames for itself. Um, the Skelly or the Skeleton most famously, as well as the Double Balance. You guys will see in a second why it's called the Double Balance. Uh, but just to go a few specs of this watch real quick. This is a normal uh, case uh, 15407, uh, so it runs from the 15400 family. It's got the 41 millimeter case with uh, the usual uh, Royal Oak bracelet that's probably one of the best bracelets in the industry. Then uh, the Nautilus, again, the most known watch in the watch world. Uh, again, 39 to 40 millimeter case with the, the famous um, Nautilus bracelet and the flip over clasp. Last remaining stainless steel Nautilus in Patek's catalog. Before this, the 57 was uh, 5711 was discontinued along with the 5726 as well as the 5990, the 5980 and a lot of other models. Discuss a few quick specs of the Nautilus. Again, it comes in a 40 millimeter case with the obviously very well known uh, Nautilus case and the Nautilus bracelet as well as the normal double deployment clasp um, that we're all used to. Um, what we have here today is the reference 5712. Until recently, the 5712 was interesting, the last remaining steel Nautilus on uh, Patek's catalog until the release of the new Blue Dial 5990. In terms of uh, value, and even in today's market, considering the complications available on this watch, the 5712 is um, in steel, still one of the, uh, on the lower end on the price spectrum when you consider um, its other brothers in the Nautilus category like the 5711, the 5726, uh, the 5980, as well as the 5990, which is obviously on a whole other level. Um, so what we have here is the Blue Dial 5712. To discuss some of the complications we have on it, we've got um, firstly and the most complicated part of this watch, which is the moon phase indicator. With that, we also have um, a running seconds, a date, as well as a power reserve indicator. On the wrist, this is a beautiful and a very comfortable watch to wear. Those that have worn a Nautilus know um, that even though people complain about the bracelet being a little flimsy and the case being very, very thin, it is an extremely, extremely comfortable watch to wear. And it deserves the fame that it has, obviously. We've uh, sold a fair few of these, a couple of 5712s as well. And uh, we're happy to have another one in stock. Um, the 15407, like I said, is my pick of these two. Um, this was uh, sourced by us for a very, very special client as well. And um, this is a special watch. It's not something you see every day. It's possibly the only one available in Sri Lanka as well. Um, so what's special about this watch is that usually on uh, most APs or traditional watches, you find um, the clear case back is where you get to see the inner workings of a watch, where you get to see the movement. But in this case, obviously, it's a skeletonized dial, so you see the entire movement from the front of the case. For this, for this, uh, for this specific uh, model, AP actually designed the movement from the front to the back, therefore exposing most of its most beautiful characteristics on the front. The most important part, obviously, being the double balance. That's encased full 18 karat uh, rose gold. Other than that, um, this watch is pretty much a Royal Oak that we all know and love, the 41 millimeter case the bracelet and the double deployment clasp that we're all used to. It's, it's an amazing watch. It's not something that everybody understands, but it's surely something that you need to see and uh, feel to appreciate the beauty of. Speaking of a watch that not everybody understands, is a wild contender I'd like to enter into this battle, is the F.P. Jean Elegante. Now, a lot of people, I mean, what we usually associate with luxury watches, obviously mechanical, automatic uh, timepieces. But what we have here is probably uh, the coolest and the most complicated quartz watch available on the luxury watch market made by uh, the infamous F.P. Jean himself. Not going to talk too much about this because this video is supposed to be about the AP and Patek. But if you don't know about F.P. Jean, you should really look into them. Look into the Elegante. It's a beautiful watch. It's 
it's not just a run of the mill quartz watch that we are used to seeing on in some of the watch markets but we'll have a video on this soon as well hope you enjoyed that one i certainly did thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one